Hey guys, in this video we'll be discussing how we can embed a web browser into the simple PayPal storefront Unity asset. So what I've got in front of me here is a new Unity project and all I've done so far is just import the simple PayPal storefront uh, Unity asset from the asset store and I've opened up the PayPal version 2 API test scene which can be found under scenes bare bones UI demo v2 this scene right here and I made one change so far and that is just to provide my PayPal client ID and secret so we have the necessary credentials to call the PayPal APIs so the first thing we'll want to do after that is go and grab um, a third party library which contains the code required to embed the web browser. So we can get that by going to Google and searching for Unity Simple Web Browser. Then we go to this search result here on GitHub TuneRock Unity Browser. And all you need to do is go to the code and click download zip. And That'll download everything here. We actually only are interested in the Unity client section, but there's no harm downloading everything here for the moment. And if you want more details, you can just read through the uh, text here. So I've already gone ahead and done that and I've got the zip file here from the download. So now what we want to do is import that into our Unity project. So we want to drop that at the same level as a simple PayPal storefront directory. So we're going to open up the uh, assets directory and we're going to extract the um, Unity client web browser that we want into our assets directory. So I've named my project embedded web browser. You can see our simple PayPal storefront asset here and this is our download on, on the left side here. We're going to go into assets, simple web browser, and just extract that across over to our assets directory in our project. Okay. So now that that's done, we can go back to Unity, wait for it all to compile and import. Let's go reload here. Okay, so now we can see we've got our simple web browser, uh, third party code imported into our project. So this, um, this code contains some very useful prefabs that we're gonna use. And actually in this uh, little demo, we're just gonna use one prefab. Gonna use the browser 2D prefab that it has. So um, I'm going to use this uh, scene here and just create some space for the embedded browser. So it's going to move a few items around, UI elements around. So I'll just grab everything here and just move it up over here for now. Obviously, when if you wanted to do this for a proper solution, you'd you know have a more thought thought out UI. But for now, this will be fine for us. We'll just drop in our browser 2D prefab somewhere here. Uh, it's looking okay. So we'll also want it to probably be at the same level as the main panel. Okay, so now it shows up. Yeah, because before when this was up at this level, it was behind that panel. So now it's visible, which is good. And if I run things as they are right now, um, it should execute the default behavior, which is just to load up Google, which is fine. And you'll notice here, there's this address bar at the top, which we're probably not going to need in our solution. So, um, what we want to do is just hide that to begin with. So this prefab contains a main UI, which is this nav bar here. And we'll just 
um, set that to inactive. So now if we were to run it, we can see the browser start up without um, the snap bar, which is what we want. And all we really want to do now is um, have this work as normal. So we'll create an order, creates the URL, the checkout URL. And previously, when we click this button, open checkout URL in browser, it would open it in an external web browser like we see here. But instead we just want that um, URL to open in, in our embedded browser. So we'll just go ahead and write a little bit of code to do that now. So the code, or well, the place where we'll want to write the code is on the button click event for this uh, button, which is located in this game object here. Open checkout URL in browser button click. And there's a script here, we'll open that up. We can see at the moment the script has an on click. It just grabs the checkout URL from the input box, does some little validation on it, and then opens it in a browser at the moment. So we're gonna comment out the part where it says to open in a browser and instead just write in some code to um, open or open that link in the embedded browser. And another thing we'll want to do is um, not show the browser until they click the button. So by default, we'll set this entire object to inactive. So all we need to do now is go back to that script. And we probably want to set up a new variable for the um, web, web browser prefab. So we'll go public game object and we'll just call it um, web browser. And then we'll hook that up right now. So you can see it's over here. We'll grab our web browser, got that connected. So this web browser has a script here, web browser 2D. And I believe inside of this script, there's a function called navigate, which we want to pass a URL to. So that's essentially all the code we'll need to do. And in addition to uh, activating the game object. So the first thing we'll do is activate that game object. We'll say web browser dot set active true. And then we'll, um, now we just want to write the code to send a URL to the web browser. So we'll get the, um, the web browser 2D uh, component from this game object. So get component web browser 2D. And I believe there's a navigate function in here. And we should just be able to pass it the checkout URL. Whoops. Checkout URL. Okay. And if everything goes smoothly, I think that's all we need. So let's compile that, give it a run, see how we go. Okay, so create our order, generates our checkout URL say open checkout URL in browser, we enable the web browser and it's navigated to the PayPal checkout URL, which is great. So here we can see we've got our embedded browser and we'll um, go through the payment. So I'll enter the, um, into the payment address, which I don't seem to be able to enter. Oh, there we go. Into the checkout sandbox account. So you can see PayPal's just going through the checkout process here. It's all going smoothly so far. We'll just continue. And there we go. Uh, I've got the, um, the return URL set to Google at the moment. So that's the success page. You could potentially set this to an internal web page, which is just a payment complete basic HTML page, which would probably be more ideal. Um, and it, anyway, if we completed this um, test scene here, we say show the order details, 
we can say the order we sorry we can see that the order's now been approved and we can capture the payment from here and there we go it's all complete so um, yeah i mean that's just a brief overview on how you can integrate the web browser um, let me know if this is helpful or you have any questions um, I'm thinking of possibly integrating this into the other scene that I have in the asset, the storefront scene. So, um, yeah, let me know if you guys think that'll be handy. Um, but yeah, other than that, hope you enjoyed the video and catch you guys next time. See ya.